Just got home and got one of these! The petrol box. Let's open it up. I just love this knife. You guys have just been seeing this knife all the time. I used to switch it up. I haven't even been switching it up. Spyderco Endura 4. Love it. Yes. So as always, the petrol box. Little letter. Pause the video if you guys want to read this. Let's get in here. DS, or not DS. DS port. No, D sport. Yes, that makes a little bit more sense. Ooh, coil rad. That's some good stuff. What else do we got? There's some tire shine stuff, so that is always cool. I love getting detailing products because it's always fun to like try out new stuff. Oh, sick. These are badass. I don't know if you guys have seen these. The Key Smart. Make sure Key is kind of like a Swiss army knife. Ew. Prime, right here. Prime sunglasses. Still in my work clothes, but we'll try these on to do bendies. And what else comes in there? Ew. The Prime sticker. But wait, there's more. Prime shades, 30% off using code PRIME30. What do we got there? <laughs> Top secret person. What are you doing? Filming, dude. I know, but are those now? Yeah, they came in the box. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Also, we got a tire shine applicator for the tires. The Aroma Disc, the new car scent. I'm gonna have to eat this. I might give it to my wife. Sour Patch Kid, stoked on it. I was just thinking I wanted candy. Candy's always good, she can have that. Now we can share. We got the Petrol Box Ride of the Month. Oh, thank you. Eat its head. I was gonna no, wait, it. I was gonna bite it first. You're making, mm. Oh, it's ruined. Petrol Box Subscriber Ride of the Month. I always put these in my toolbox, kind of making a collection of that. A European experience. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's a little flyer. They must be sponsored by or something. Overall, happy with the box. Check out the code below, guys. I've been running it down there. And let's get to this little install. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> Oh, about a week or so ago, the original key broke off in the Birdie 30. Uh, yeah, I had to pay like way too much money to get some lock guys to make me this key. Just total crap. Now, my lock doesn't want to lock. See, it feels like it's gonna break in half. What we're gonna do today is replace the lock with a new BMW lock cylinder. This part is actually an OE BMW part, and it actually comes with two new BMW keys. Now, it's not gonna be keyed to to a passenger door over there. However, that door lock is already screwed up and they do not make replacements for the passenger side. This car does have the central locking system, so I will just be installing this and should be able to lock all the doors now from the driver's side. Taking this one off and putting this one in its place. I'll show you guys how to remove the door panel step by step so that we can access the lock mechanism. Wilbur's hanging out in the Birdie 30 like he likes to do while I work on it. Let's go for a ride, dude. First thing I'm gonna do is just slide this little piece back. So you just slide this back a little bit. This trim ring will just kind of pop right off. Now I'm gonna remove the two screws that are located underneath the armrest. I actually took the little nub off, so I gotta put that back on. However, that gave me enough leverage to kind of just pull this thing out without hurting anything. Now we can disconnect the clip from behind. Boom. You guys can see right up there at the top, there is a screw. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that screw. Okay, now that let me remove that. So that has the little tab down there in the bottom and you have a tab right here on the side. Also have a tab up here on the top in there. Now we can go ahead and remove the lock button. You're just gonna untwist that until it comes right off. Just like that. Now basically the door panel will have a bunch of tabs located all around it. So what I'm gonna do, just feel and pry it out until I feel that first clip and just continue with that. Bert's not really the biggest fan of all that noise it made. So he's probably gonna leave now. Yeah, good. Just kind of lift up and then we'll be able to remove the door card. Now we can go ahead and peel back some of this plastic. Let's be real careful with this. We don't want to rip it as it's 30 years old and it 
does a good job sealing out the elements. So now what I'm doing guys is I'm trying to get up in here. Uh, there's a little C-clip that retains the lock mechanism. So I'm gonna try to do it with some pliers or something, just kind of pull that C-clip off and then hopefully I can pop out the lock assembly. This is kind of how you get in there. You just do this. This is basically how the lock looks. Now you're gonna see this retainment clip right here. That is pretty much just gonna slide right into this slot right here. So see that? That is how it works. I just did that with a long screwdriver, got in there, pressed against it until I had enough leverage and it popped it off. Move the lock as this just is gonna pop out now. You can see this piece is pretty old. Kinda rotate it a bit. Just inspecting the old mechanism, I do see, you know, that it actually works fairly well. However, this is kind of notched pretty deep. So hopefully it's just that notch that's kind of messing it up. So we'll check that out. I'm gonna put in the new piece and uh, hopefully this thing works easy. Um, if I need to lube up some stuff while I'm in there, I will do that as well. You can see this extra piece of metal to basically reinforce it. So now I'm just gonna put this thing kind of back in there how I took it out. All right, feels pretty good. I like that. Now what I can do is reinstall this clip I'll go up in there, slide that back on, and it should be all good. I made sure to use some uh, white lithium grease. This is just some liquid wrench. I sprayed it on a lot of the components in there just to lube this stuff up, especially this area right here inside the door. As you can see, it's it's really worn on there quite a bit. Hopefully those areas of friction will definitely like help it work a little bit better. This piece is also kind of cracked a bit, and you can see it's kind of kind of wobbly and a little bit dented, so uh, hopefully just getting this new cylinder is really going to help that out a lot. We can go ahead and reinstall the plastics. Basically just press back on them and put them back into their original place. Sorry if the exposure is off a little bit guys but uh, it's kind of sunny out here so it's hard to get it exactly right. What that will do is just go ahead make sure you get that door lock through and then we'll make sure that those top three clips click on to the door card. Okay awesome. So those are pretty much on there. I'm going to make sure that this is out of the way and then we can line up these clips and then start giving them some hits back in. Make sure they line up in the holes. If you feel it not lining up, you know, make sure to uh, guide it back into its hole. I have to say, obviously it's a BMW, so it's quality, but I'm very impressed by the quality of a 30 year old vehicle. I mean, man, it's like, it still really, really holds up and the uh, quality of the parts is really good. Listen to this. Not bad. Now we can install that little piece of weather strip up on the top. Should just kind of feel it go right in. So I got that clicked back into its channel, looking all good and fresh. We install the other parts. Just go ahead and screw this back on. So I'll go ahead and put the armrest back on so that just slides right in here. Gotta make sure that I get it in the appropriate groove right here up top. And then we can get it into this groove on the back portion here. All just kind of slides back and clicks in. Shorter screw, go ahead and reinstall that into the armrest. Make sure not to drop it inside the door or else you'll be doing this all over again. Install the mirror switch. You can just go ahead and connect that up, press it back in the hole. If you did like me, my little button kind of came off. Now that has a key in one direction, so you need to watch the way that that goes on, which is gonna be like this, and it will only go on one way. Just press on there, and then it should slide forward and go back into place. Thing is these two longer screws in the bottom of the armrest, and then we'll be good to go. So when you guys test this, it's definitely a good idea to keep your window down just in case you lock the door. You wanna be able to push down or pull up to unlock the door in case this doesn't work. However, boom, put the key in, turn it, it's locked, pull the key out, turn it back up and over, door's unlocked. So sweet, it works really, really good now. It's super smooth um, before like literally you felt like you were gonna break the key off every time you used it, and that's why the key broke off. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I have a bunch of other modification videos that I've done to this car, so check those out. I'll put a playlist up right now. You guys can check that out, and we'll talk to you soon. Later, guys. Wrench on.